then uh, this option will repair those files and your system will uh, get back to life and the third option we will use is system image recovery this is another option to restore your system back in time where you have created the system image at the fourth point we will talk about uninstalling updates windows operating system especially the windows 10 operating system unsuccessful updates are causing blue skin of death uh, all over the world this is the most common reason this is the reason behind my laptop get into blue skin of death ventilator at the end we will try the fifth option available uh, to restore your system back to life is command prompt we will analyze how to use certain commands to check your file system check your hard disk for uh, system errors and automatically correct them number one option to disable automatically restarting your PC in case of BSOD or your operating system is not loading up by default automatically restarting of your PC is enabled from uh, your system setting whenever you get into this uh, kind of trouble like BSOD or your system not booting up then uh, your system perform a automatic repair diagnostic uh, troubleshooting and restart 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 you need to disable this option uh, from your windows operating system i will tell you how a pc icon properties advanced system setting on the advanced tab go to the startup and recovery section click on the setting in the new window look for startup failure section and uncheck the automatically restart option okay it's done now i will tell you what is the second tool in your emergency kit for windows operating system bsod the second most obvious reason for your bsod in your windows is not booting up is the presence of malware in your pc always use a good third-party antivirus in case of windows 10 update 1903 you should use windows defender if you are interested in windows defender uh, for the protection of your windows operating system you can see my video or how to set up the windows defender in your windows operating system here is the link and the third option that is the most important option is a bootable usb of your windows operating system always keep your windows operating system bootable usb along the emergency medical emergency kit and the fourth option is the system image recovery system image is complete backup for your files and system drive to an external drive or network attached storage if a high value is attached to your data you should create a system image monthly or bi-monthly to an external device or network network attached storage this will provide you a redundancy in case of any failure or BSOD. You can search on the Google, you can search on the YouTube how to create a system image for your operating system and to how to restore that system image uh, in case of any uh, failure like BSOD. And the fourth option we have is the system restore point. This option is an internal redundancy plan. You create a restore point. Uh, in your system drive if you get into any type of uh, failure or unsuccessful start of windows operating system in case of like uh, BSOD you can easily restore your windows operating system back in time to that point where your windows operating system was very healthy fifth option for our rescue plan uh, in case of BSOD is uninstalling the updates most of the reported BSOD issues for the windows operating system are caused by unsuccessful installation of windows updates i myself encountered the same bsod uh, a week earlier uh, that was caused by the windows updates 20 h1 and actually i was unsuccessful in restoring my pc back to life uh, i haven't created any restore point or system image unfortunately if you are unable to restore uh, your windows operating system with your windows desktop uh, by using all these options I have mentioned then you are ended up with one option you have to rescue your data from your system drive now I will tell you how to use all these options this is the screen uh, you can see advanced option 
system restore, startup repair, uninstall updates, command prompt, system image. These are all options available uh, when your Windows operating system is not booting up. How to get uh, to that screen if your system is booting up properly and restarts after some time, one or two minutes uh, after loading your Windows operating system normally, then you can go to that screen uh, easily. Hit the start button, uh, go to update and recovery. Go to recovery options. Inside the recovery option, uh, look for the advanced startup. And inside the advanced startup, you just click on the restart now. Uh, you will be loaded by this screen. Choose an option, continue, troubleshoot, or turn off your PC. Uh, select the troubleshoot. Inside the troubleshoot, uh, you have to select advanced options. When you select the advanced option, you are ended up with this screen of all the options we have talked about. Click on the system restore. At the system restore option screen, you are asked to enter your account of Microsoft Windows login account. Just click, uh, enter the login account and your password and click on the continue. And the next screen you will be loaded with the system restore point uh, is shown. Select that system restore point. If you have multiple, select the recent or whatever you like. Click on the next and the next screen will confirm you to restore your Windows operating system uh, back in time. The next option we will try the system image recovery. Click on the system image recovery. Uh, you will be loaded with this uh, selection of uh, image that we have already created. Uh, you will see the similar options uh, as a restore point uh, for your Windows operating system. Uh, in case of system recovery image, you uh, if you have created a system recovery image on an external device, just connect that external device or network attached storage NAS to your uh, current system uh, through your USB. Uh, restore that system image uh, back to your PC. One thing I forgot to tell you that how to get into that screen of advanced options uh, in case your system is not starting up or not booting up. Uh, if you have a USB, bootable USB created earlier, uh, then just uh, insert uh, that USB and boot from uh, the bootable USB of Windows operating system. Uh, you will see a blue screen in which uh, uh, the bootable window will show you to install a window button. Uh, just right below the install uh, button on, on the left side on the uh, left side you will see the repair uh, your computer just click on that link uh, repair your computer you will be uh, loaded with that uh, screen of uh, troubleshooting and it was options the second method to load that screen if you have no bootable media available no bootable USB uh, Windows operating system available just uh, restart your PC with your power button and uh, while it is uh, booting up, just press the power button again, uh, repeat it two to three times, uh, and then your operating system will get you into that advanced option screen. Uh, the next option you can try to get your PC back to life is uninstalling update. That was the reason behind your blue screen of death. Uh, just reach that advanced option screen and click on the uninstall update option. When you click on the uninstall updates, uh, you will be prompted with the two options. One option is uninstall quality updates and another is uninstall feature updates. Uh, most of the time, the feature updates are causing problem because it is a big update. Uh, just select the uninstall uh, latest feature updates and uh, you will most probably end up loading your uh, Windows operating system normally. And the last option uh, to get your system uh, back to normal is command prompt. Uh, here I will tell you uh, two commands to check your operating system files and your disk for errors. And SFC slash scan now command. This is a system cleaning facility. This is a system file cleaning utility uh, command. Uh, this will check uh, damaged system files and it will automatically apply the repairs if it can. If it is successful, then your system will be loaded successfully. 
Second command is the CHK DSK, the check disk. This will uh, check the disk, your hard disk or SSD for uh, any kind of bad sectors. Uh, if it finds any uh, problem related to your disk, your bad sectors, then it will apply automatic repairs and your system uh, will boot automatically successfully. Blue screen of death is not going anywhere. I don't know what the Microsoft is doing with this blue screen of death. After the months of uh, reporting BSOD caused by Windows update, Microsoft was not accepting or not uh, even responding to this blue screen of death caused by the Windows update. So the guys, uh, me Sakibali signing off. Uh, thank you so much uh, for staying with me. Please subscribe my channel, share with your friends and uh, keep suggesting me in the comments. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.